New at six agriculture experts at Michigan State University are sounding the alarm about avian flu. The virus, more commonly known as bird flu, is now a big problem for Michigan's dairy cows. So far, the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development reports cases in cattle in 10 counties. And we're also following two cases involving dairy farm workers in our state. Now, this is an issue that impacts everyone from farmers to grocers to shoppers. 7 News Detroit reporter Simon Shaquette is raising their voices about what's being done to keep customers healthy while managing price hikes amid potential shortages. Health of cows is something that impacts farmers, grocers, and shoppers. Another reason experts are now paying extra attention. For shoppers at Johnny Pomodoro's on Middle Belt Road in Farmington Hills, daily deals and a variety of top products are just two reasons to keep coming back. When it comes to purchasing milk, what do you look for? While she was checking out the ice cream section, I asked shopper Janice Gordon how she chooses milk and how much she prioritizes value. How important is it that the prices stay where they are? Very important. Her answer resonating with James Averill, who oversees farming operations at Michigan State University and keeping cows healthy. We have not had a case. We keep continuing to watch the situation very closely. Averill telling me since last March, farmers in Michigan have felt growing concern about the ability to keep pumping out supply after cases of dairy cows being infected with HPAI, also known as highly pathogenic avian influenza. How does a farmer become aware if a cow has been infected? Uh, they have to do some diagnostic testing to be able to get verification that an animal has influenza. Officially, according to the state of Michigan, March 29th marked day one of the onset of the avian flu on a farm in Michigan. And MSU expert Phil Durst says a farmer reporting infection within a herd of 500 cows. And since then, more cases. We know of at least 23 herds that were that are confirmed infected. Symptoms could possibly include a spike in body temperature, decreased rumination, less water intake, and severe dehydration, along with requiring medical help. We don't know all the ways to prevent its transmission. Um, we, we also don't know what the future course of, this, of the disease is. I asked Durst about efforts made to treat the cows and what milk is considered safe. He says all pasteurized milk products remain safe for consumption, but he adds costs could eventually rise with less milk flowing into cartons. Could it potentially mutate and, and uh, spread faster or could it mutate and, and, um, and affect cows greater? Those are all possibilities. We don't know that. Steps are also being taken to minimize risk of spread to other animals and workers on farms by separating cows. Frequent hand washing, wearing safety eyewear, and changing clothing, among measures being encouraged to reduce chance of further spread. And for grocery stores, there's also the matter of keeping costs down. General Manager David Coza says Johnny's, which is family owned, works with multiple farms to keep the inventory stocked. What do you do to navigate a shortage of supply? Well, there are other vendors that we can use, but hopefully sometimes that does happen or doesn't happen and you just have to deal with it. There's always a, a, an alternative. Most of the times that there is. For Janice, staying informed is important. As a shopper and supporter of this family owned business, she says her trust in the products and confidence in our state's tracking of cases helps make it easy to check milk off the grocery list. How much stress do you encounter trying to keep the pricing affordable if your costs go up? All the time, all the time. Durst says in most cases, cows do recover. However, they will need extra care to get them healthy again. From Farmington Hills, Simon Shaquette, 7 News Detroit. Thanks for staying on top of that, Simon.